I'm Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter, and welcome to Job Search Radio. New format, we call it radio, it's more TV, and I'll simply say, I hope you enjoy this, and I'm the head coach for JobSearchCoachingHQ.com and NoBSCoachingAdvice.com, and I was a professional recruiter for more than 40 years, filled more than 1,200 positions, plus consulting assignments, and you know, I have a, a perspective on job hunting that few career coaches really have because I lived it. I work with people one on one for years, helping them to navigate a system that really wasn't very friendly to you. And I thought I would do a show today talking about whether or not, well, the question really came down to, can I quit my job without having another job? There's no rule that says you can't do this. And I want to be clear, there's the potential impact from doing this, that employers now have a lever over you. They have leverage over you because you're out of work. It may impact your salary negotiation. It may impact some of the choices that you have in the next firm, because whether it's good times or bad times, Firms are looking for leverage in the negotiation, and they think they have it when you're out of work. And I'm not trying to talk you out of it, because certainly if you're in a situation that is unpleasant or worse, and folks, I'm not going to define all the worst situations. I just leave it to you. You know what makes your life intolerable. Like, for myself, there was a time I was commuting more than two hours each way from my home in northeastern Pennsylvania to New York. And I did it for five days a week for more than a year. And it was tough. You know, I'd get up at an ungodly hour of the morning, commute into New York. You know, I did it for my family, but it was hard. And I needed to negotiate into a new situation where I didn't have to do it that often. And eventually not at all in order to make it temporarily work. And then when I started to notice in my circumstances with my colleagues were awful, you know, I decided to get out of it and move on to something else that suited me better. You'll have your version of it, the work that's insufferable, the people that you work with who are intolerable. Whatever it is, you'll make a decision as to what's right for you. But as you make that decision, I want to cover a couple of things that you ought to be thinking about. And number one is, as I said, it may be harder to find work as firms will question whether or not you'll stay if things get a little tougher. And number two, the impact on salary negotiation. Number three is you really need to see if you have savings in place to pay your bills during a time that you're unemployed. Now, you may think you can get something very quickly, but what happens if you can't? Do you have the wherewithal to ride out a storm for longer than you anticipate? Like you may say, oh, I can find a job in three months. And I can assure you that there are hundreds of thousands of people who've uttered the same thing to themselves and found it's taken longer. Do you have the wherewithal that if it takes longer, that you can wind up uh, supporting yourself. Does your decision affect other people? Like you know, if you have a wife, husband, partner, kids, you know, what, are they on board with this? Because you're going to be, what you're doing is going to affect them. And if they're not on board, it's going to become harder for you because you're going to feel the energetic difference in your home. It's going to be, you know, it's, your wife, husband, partner, kids, you know, they're all dealing with a, so has he found the job yet? So is she working yet? You know, kind of question. And it's hard on them to say, no, he hasn't had any interviews for a while. No, she's not working yet. Or mommy's still out of work. Daddy's still out of work. You know, it's hard. So you want to make sure that everyone's on board with what your choice is. Are you going to be going out there looking for something else right away or taking a little bit of time off to kind of sort things through, do a post-mortem on your circumstances and figure out where the mistake was on your side 
and what it is that you want to be going to next. And sometimes people have made the decision that the work that they're going to be doing, that they have been doing, I should say, isn't what they want to be doing with the rest of their life. So they make the decision to go on to something else. Like, can you do the work proactively? before the resignation in order to sort some of that out. So you're working for someone else, but figuring out what you want to do next. It's like people who start a business or want to move into their own business. I often will coach and tell them, can you do this on the side for a little while to start figuring out what you don't know yet so that you're not watching your money disappear on you while you know, uh, you're figuring things out. Do it while you're working for someone else. So those are some things to take into consideration. I hope you found this show helpful. And if you did, let me give you a couple of ways that you can reach out to me if you'd like me to coach you through this transition. Mm -hmm. And first of all, I want to be clear. I'm not a recruiter any longer. I did it for more than 40 years. I'm a coach who helps people navigate the choppy waters of a job search or helps people, as I have for years, you know, with the um, with issues around their business life as well. But here, let me just talk career coaching and say, you know, if you need advice with a job search, if you want me to critique your resume or LinkedIn profile, answer your questions about what's going on for you, help you prepare for interviews, help you with the salary negotiation. There's a whole host of things I do just to help people with their search. Visit my website, which is thebiggamehunter.us. At the top, there are tabs there. You place an order through the, the tabs there. It'll give you instructions after you've made payment for how to connect with me. We'll schedule a time to speak. And I'll just simply say, you know, there's a lot of good information on my website, which is thebiggamehunter.us. If you look at the blog, there are thousands of posts that I've done for many years about job search, about hiring. A lot of great information that's available to you. So go exploring through the blog. It'll help you. And if it seems like too much, the best of my information is curated at jobsearchcoachinghq.com. Yeah, it's a site with information that you can watch, listen to, and read that's going to help you find work more quickly. Plus, they charge less for my coaching if you if you join and become a member on the site. Again, that's JobSearchCoachingHQ.com. Last thing I want to, uh, to mention to you, if we aren't connected on LinkedIn, send a connection request to me at LinkedIn.com forward slash IN forward slash The Big Game Hunter. I'll be back soon with more. And in the meantime, have a great day. Take care.